When Patrick decided to leave the show, I gave him some advice that um, Hayden Rourke had given me. Never leave a successful show. People think you're dumb, crazy, unreliable. <clears throat> he did. Went out to win fame and fortune and found out that it was cold out there. It was cold. I mean, leaving it successful, as successful as Dallas was, was just unheard of. So I begged him. I said, Pat, good God, don't leave. I'm, I'm not going to have any fun. All my buddies are going. And then when, when uh, Katzman said he was leaving, I was really mm, so depressed. And I never get depressed, and, but that was my two people, the staunchest uh, backers I had and the guys I liked working with a lot. And they left, and, and we had that disastrous year. And then when Patrick, I called him up, and I had been lobbying with uh, Katzman, who I knew was coming back by this time. And I said, we got to get Pat back on the show. And so he started talking to him. And so one day I called him up and said, Pat, come on out, take a jacuzzi, and we'll sit in there and drink a beer and talk and blah, blah, blah. We did. He came out. We talked, got in the jacuzzi, had a good time, so forth. Went over to the Baja Cantina over there at, in Malibu and we had another drink and lunch and heard on the radio going over there, uh, Patrick Duffy has signed to start production with Dallas again. And this was highly secret stuff between him and me. And then on the way over there, it had gotten out already from somebody. And uh, that's so much for secrecy. We both turned to each other and laughed. And, but I was really happy to get it. And we got four more years out of it. They thought of the twin brother, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then I think, I think Patrick's wife, Carlin, for some reason said, oh my God, it's a bad dream. The whole thing's a bad dream. And he said, wait a minute. Yeah, we'll make it a dream. Because I wanted to get rid of that year anyhow. It was a terrible year for me. We were doing all kinds of glitzy stuff that I didn't like. And so they said, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do a film, a sequence of Patrick making um, an Irish spring. You know, the soap? You see them cutting with the knife. And, and he, he went over there and they did it dead straight, not at, uh, at uh, where we were shooting Dallas, at uh, Warner Bros. I mean, at um, MGM. So they did it in another studio, and they did shot it all day with coming in, fixing the lights, and on this line, saying the whole thing was set up for him just to say, good morning, that's all. But they had to make it like nobody could know. He was doing an ad uh, for, for Irish Spring, and that's the way, and so that nobody tipped it that he was going to come back like that, or he was going to come back at all. And they kept that a big, big secret. Nobody, nobody got it. And they didn't use anything. They shot the whole long commercial, but all they used was his turn. Good morning. So and he had said good morning. Try Irish Spring. 